uh, some of the things we've been doing at Moorhead State University around Senate Bill 1, uh, besides having um, events such as uh, workshops around instructional strategies and assessment for learning modeling, uh, we also uh, had a recent summit, a Senate Bill 1 summit, and that summit was specifically geared towards higher education faculty. The participants weren't just College of Education faculty, they were faculty from all across campus, as well as staff, uh, uh, academic advisors, uh, enrollment services personnel, people who are really uh, working with those students who are coming to us that are not college ready, um, and helping them see what Senate Bill 1 requirements are, but also to think about the standards and how the standards really impact, um, uh, for example, general education courses and general education faculty. We uh, have created a uh, professional learning community around assessment for learning models. Um, what we did was we actually nominated uh, across all of our campus individuals, faculty who we believe um, are already doing, uh, including many of the assessment for learning strategies in their courses, or who have great potential. We know that they are um, uh, very student-centered faculty and um, are not in the College of Education necessarily and are interested in finding out strategies that they can use for um, um, formative assessment using assessment for learning models. At Campbellsville University, we've been involved in several initiatives uh, in the School of Education. Uh, first, we've had several faculty and myself who've attended some uh, Senate Bill 1 meetings where we have um, gathered resources and information that we have taken back and shared uh, with our faculty uh, via our annual retreat uh, through faculty meetings. Uh, another thing that we've done is we've uh, taken advantage of the uh, networks that are in place uh, across the state and utilized uh, trainers from those networks. For example, from the, um, I believe it's called the Administrator Leader uh, Network, uh, we had one of those trainers to, to come and spend an entire day with our faculty, sharing information with us that's being shared with the, the leadership in our schools uh, in our region and, and across the Commonwealth. We've also used um, the math and literacy trainers uh, from the, uh, the teacher uh, networks who have uh, come into our faculty meetings and worked with uh, some of our adjuncts, uh, especially in the area of special education where we have uh, a program that uh, utilizes regional coaches uh, throughout the Commonwealth. And so we're wanting our coaches to understand the requirements uh, in Senate Bill 1. So the trainers have come in uh, from one of those networks and spent uh, actually several days uh, with our adjuncts uh, that work in that program. Of course, the most recent initiative that we're involved in, we're very excited about this, uh, the uh, grant from uh, CPE uh, to the independent Kentucky colleges and universities will allow us to collaborate with our partners at St. Catherine and at Lindsay Wilson to plan a professional development program that will not only include teacher preparation faculty, but our arts and science uh, faculty, as well as uh, faculty from developmental education. So we are currently uh, planning a program, and uh, in that program we uh, expect to use many of the, the speakers and many of the resources that we have uh, learned about in the meetings that, that we have attended. Um, I'm also pleased to say, and, and I realize this is uh, fairly limited, but uh, our arts and science faculty, um, uh, some of them are uh, quite aware about Senate Bill 1. I uh, sit on the Academic Council and the Graduate Council, so I've shared some information with, uh, with those individuals about this initiative. But um, another project they've been involved in with the School of Education is um, revising what's called their program submissions. Uh, we go through this accreditation process with the standards board and part of that process is totally uh, revising uh, all of our program uh, review documents. So in that process, the arts and science faculty have learned about the Kentucky Core Academic Standards and they uh, are becoming very familiar with those and so we're very pleased that they are becoming conversant uh, about those standards and I think this workshop we're planning uh, in a couple of months will help to equip them with some further knowledge and information that will go further than just awareness and translate more into uh, practice uh, into our classrooms. And I, I think that's the real challenge ahead of us. Uh, there's so much information um, about Senate Bill 1 and um, I think all of us are working um, very diligently 
to um, examine our syllabi, especially in, in teacher preparation, to look at how uh, we can uh, reflect all the elements from Senate Bill 1 and how we can be uh, key players on our own campus to help faculty from arts and science and uh, from developmental education to be sure that their syllabi and, and their instructional practice are reflecting the assessment strategies and their instructional uh, practices are reflecting those strategies that uh, are reflected uh, in the Senate Bill 1. So, there's a lot uh, of work ahead of us, but we're uh, excited uh, about this initiative and, and to be a part of something that's, uh, you know, throughout the Commonwealth with all of us working together. I think that this is a period of collaboration that's just uh, not been seen uh, in this Commonwealth to date. So it's, it's pretty exciting to be a part of it. Our program faculties are working at uh, examining syllabi and updating syllabi to make sure that we are addressing the new standards and uh, that is a lengthy process but we have started that process and hopefully over the next year we'll have updated all of our syllabi in teacher education. So next we're focusing on the content courses in arts and sciences and working with arts and sciences faculty to uh, make sure that the content courses uh, address those standards. We have the math center uh, at Northern and so we have a lot of people who are working in the math center and working with our students and working with schools uh, in the Northern Kentucky area. Uh, so we're already beginning to uh, implement phases of it, um, working with the schools as they do their, um, their preparation of curriculum and implementation. Uh, so I think um, uh, just gradually phasing in, in uh, with those groups and with the uh, people who are already doing it and um, introducing it uh, on, a, on a broader base. We have some plans for more extensive training beyond teacher ed, uh, but that's where we've begun.